Hey everyone, welcome to the first person gameplay commentary. My name is Dry Bear and today we're playing Kali. She's a melee physical carry. She's a uh, probably a middle tier physical carry. She has some um, drop off points and she's very easily focused um, as far as a uh, well rounded team. She doesn't really fit too well into it. Um, she can be a wrecking force if she gets um, a good start. Um, but like I said, she's very easily focused and she doesn't really have a big part in team fights. She has a decent ultimate, but doesn't really affect very much as far as the ultimate as far as the team fight goes. So there's a few changes you need to work with that. Um, actually, I might need an opportunity to get a kill here. Be careful, right? Take middle lane. Come on, let's do this. Hebo, get her! Oh, get her! Okay. Boom! Yeah, buddy. All right. So, cover abilities before the game starts. Her passive is colon rage, and this gives her a five percent static life steal. She always has a uh, five percent life steal bonus. Um, however, the lower her health goes, when she gets below twenty five percent health, she gets a twenty five percent also a bonus twenty five percent life steal, uh, which puts her at thirty percent. Um, so, it's, she doesn't really have a high need for a life steal. I don't really know. Hold on, my phone is flashing. Why are you flashing, phone? Why are you flashing? All right. Um, so, uh, her passive is her life steal, which is really, really effective for. Uh, you know, early game allows her to uh, attack minions and give that um, extra little uh, life steal. And also, when she's in fights, when she gets really low, she can also get her health back up um, by that giving that 30% bonus life steal. Her first ability is called Kali Rage. This is a steroid ability which will activate, giving her more movement speed, also more physical power. Um, so you kind of want to pop it. Her blades are glow red, if you can see it. Um, and this will give her more physical power and allow her to move quicker. Uh, you want to use this in between uh, lanes and also to uh, farm faster, move around faster, and to chase people down. She's gonna get impaled quick, pretty quickly here, or me. That was a cute water spout. Second ability is called Blood Lash. is a cone ability which will do physical damage in a cone in front of you. You've seen me use it for the first blood, but also just then I used the cone on both of them. Um, pretty high damage and definitely good for farming. It's an early item or early ability that's very effective and something. It's definitely the, the ability you want to max out first. Your middle tower is under attack. Get some good harassment off here. The third ability is called Siphon Blood. This is an AOE life steal which will do physical damage to everyone in the area and steal life from three targets that are hit. I don't want to get hit too hard by those. Standing in such a way where on her can't really impale me if he decides to go for it. Your middle tower is under attack. It's like Artemis is going to back up here. They have some really good regeneration. Hebo went for a Boots of Solarity on her four boots. On her regeneration should be ending soon since you got tier two boots. Um, if you buy a tier one item, Enemy tier one item plus a, a ability item, you'll have um, more regeneration than other people will. It's a good double hit. Be impatient here. I cannot push both of them um, just because I'm physical or melee. So when I go in, I have to get hit um, by the Hebo stuff. So my phone just went off again. I have it on silent. It's still flashing at me. Getting too many free shots there. Um, at level five, we should have the uh, advantage as long as we avoid Hebo's ultimate. On her's ultimate, it's pretty easy to avoid. I'm gonna get a good life leech off here. It only it caps out at three, but it will do damage to everyone around you. Good push there, but also get some good damage out. Hebo should be out of regeneration pretty soon here. Shoot those last one. There you go. That's cute. Any tower shots, I'm too low. Be right back. Head on back. Your middle tower is under attack. I always want to pick up consumables every time you hit the base, especially in the early game, and honestly, all the way up until probably the 20 25 minute mark. Uh, generally, you want to be picking up consumables. There's a certain point where they're kind of taking a lot of money away from you and definitely if you're going out and dying a lot or just taking a lot of damage you don't want to keep coming back and buying lots of consumables but if you're playing in a safe way and utilizing your um you're being careful and utilizing your abilities quite well um you definitely want to make sure you buy consumables every time you come home oh, i should have kept that guy up um so it does life drain the th your three life drains from three targets so you definitely want to keep those three targets up as long as you can 
who does some good life steal there. Also does damage. Um, and the ultimate you've seen already, it's called Frenzy. She'll spin in a circle and do physical damage every 0.5 seconds for 5 seconds. So a total of 10 hits, uh, doing a bunch of physical damage if you can stay in range of them the whole time. Um, you also ignore all movement controlling abilities. I'll be able to take this on. Um, I'll need my ultimate. Looks like... Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Hebo? Hebo's got his ultimate now, and on her does as well, so... Or on her doesn't. Wow. Okay. Hebo might be coming around here. There he is. Spout. Missed that on both of them, actually. Probably a spray coming out here soon. Artemis is going for the green buff, so I need to buy time for her. Artemis is a subscriber. Um, Travilo on Artemis. Sent me a message and queued up with him. There's the spout. There's the slow. Oh, okay. Oh god, the ulti. Hoping that boar would stun Hebo first. Look at that. Some good burst damage. That was a really good play by them. Took me out quite quickly. Get one more of those. I don't know what that L is for, but we're just going to assume that's some kind of Asian face. Not a typo. See, that could be like, uh... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. It's something. Health's pushing up the mid lane pretty well. See, the game, we're actually behind in gold. Looks like another lane is doing quite well. Um, Hell's 3-1. I guess that's where that's coming from. Could have avoided a lot of damage coming out there from the on her ultimate, but that's okay. I don't know if she gave up on this or what. Don't look at me. Your middle tower is under attack. Don't think I can do this with him knowing I'm here. Be right back. Bitch. Um, on her's gonna be showing up soon. Pretty soon. I don't have my ultimate. I could probably kill him right now if I had my ultimate, but I don't. There's on her. <laughs> this is a fun game. Hey! None of that. Uh, I wonder if we can get mid if mid's there. Might not be. There she is. There she is. Um, so as far as skill build goes, you definitely want to max out your two first. is the most damage out of all of them. And then there's a split build. Some people max out the uh, one first. The Kali Rage will give you more physical power um, and more um, movement speed. But the thing is, it's like that's really good for single target, but not so great for AoE. Some people will max out the three, which will give them more life steal, but also uh, more AoE damage. Here comes the ulti. I'm going to go ahead and max out my one first just because uh, I want more physical damage and uh, more movement speed. Um, and I generally don't use the life steal too much. Um, it's really powerful, but I like maxing out the one first. And obviously any points into the ultimate whenever it's available. It's a very strong ultimate. It's definitely one of those ones where you want to um, max it out as soon as possible. Um, as far as build goes, you generally, generally want to go for um, really strong oomph, kind of like an on her build, but a little bit more uh, fast. I'm going for an execution first just because I had a really good farm in the beginning. Um, and it's a very good first item to buy. I need to make this quick. I'm gonna pop my one. Kibo's gonna show up, so I'm gonna get out of here. There he is. He knocked me too far away for him to use his water. See? I'm at the tip of the water. He's too far. He should have watered first and then uh, kept following me, so Onher could keep following me as well. Um, Onher's gonna be coming out pretty quickly here. Need to avoid a wall. At this point, he'll just knock me away. Yep, knock me away. And I do have the green buff as well, so not too worried there. I'll go ahead and get a good pop there and pop a healing, a mana potion. The boar comes out. I want to make sure I got the whole wave with that so they don't have any minions. The only whole lot I can do here. I'm going to go get the green buff. Or the blue buff, sorry. I'm pretty low on mana, and I don't really have a need to go back. I can go back so I have good money, but um, I can sit here and get some more gold and farm. Looks like mid's coming over. Why? 
Don't do that. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she went over and ganked. Um, she might come and try and get this blue on her way back, or she might just go back, so we'll see. So she's going to take the top way back to the lane. She's probably going to come in and attack the Hebo. I have my ulti. I can pop my ulti and avoid the huh. Yeah, if Kali gets a good start, she's very, very strong and puts on really good damage. She's not a bad character at all. Don't get me wrong. Um, from my speech in the beginning, she's a very, very powerful character. She just gets outshined by other characters. And there's a lot of characters in this game um, which are not bad in and of themselves. It's just there are other characters that are so much better than them that there's not a whole lot of, um, a, not a big list of reasons to pick them specifically. Go over here and pick up this damage buff. I can head back after that. I have a lot of money to spend. Do we have a mid? I guess we do. I guess we do. Um, let's see. Good choice. Gives you extra health, extra um, damage potential. And definitely the bonus is also really good. I do have uh, physical power from my um, passive, or from my one, so I have good that, and I have good life steal from my passive as well, so. Pretty good sustain there, so going for attack speed and um, some extra health is really good in the beginning, and then following up with pure damage. I'll probably go for a Deathbringer after this, just because I'm doing so well. On her was there, I don't see him anymore, he probably backed up pretty far. Okay, fine. You win this one, Lion. I had to be really careful there. Get a good siphon off of these three. Hell's here. Oh, do you want the double, Hell? Do you want the double? You want to stand in the minions. She's going to want to hit the minions there. That was cute. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Velcro pad we got going right here. Step onto my Velcro. Come at me. Dive my tower. Bring it on. Wow, she hurts. Holy God. That is one painful hell. Wow. She has so much money. Did not expect that. Looks like we just got a tower. My gold went up. Mid. Hell's going to be a pain in the ass. Big attack. pain in the ass. Yes. Probably kill this on her. I need to keep up farm. I can't make any mistakes just because Hell's doing so well and she had the mid lane at the same time, which means she had increased experience and increased gold. Um, so even though, you know, we're pretty equal as far as kills go um, and damage done and farm, it's just she has way more gold than me. Hell's going to be heading over here soon. There's Hebo. I don't want a wild hell to show up next to me here. Looks like she's over in the right lane. Kind of want to take their health buff. Um, so what this will do is if they know I'm here, they might come at me. Um, and I kind of want them to, to be honest with you. Uh, luckily, Hebo can't jump over walls. Hebo didn't even want to. He just stuck at the tower. Kind of just stuck at the tower. An ally has been slain. Um, Hell's missing, which is scary. That frightens me. Oh, we can gank this guy. Go get that blue buff. Um, state of the game, we're actually ahead, which is really good, given the fact that, that Hell's doing so well, it's good that we're ahead. 
Gonna go get that prop buff mid. Freya's coming at. I don't know how many shots she has left. He ults away, but he's gonna get away. Let's see. Your right this tower's tower down, unfortunately. That was a really good vanish. And this is a problem. This is a big problem. This is a big problem. Artemis is here, though. Alright, we're set. Now, what I want to get is probably an amulet, just because they're doing so well. There we go. Comes the Odin. Odin's going to dive in. Gets that off, but there's not a whole lot I can do here. I kind of want to head over to this side. He'll probably go... Oh, he's going to back out. I don't know if that was worth it for a Hebo kill. They're kind of relying on Odin. They don't really have a tank other than Odin, and Odin isn't a tank either, so it's like... Questionable. Ask me if I care about your minions. Ask me. Go ahead. Throw the hook. They have a lot of slows. Oh no, a spout. What I need to do is honestly get a little magic protection, just because Hell's doing so well. Hell's actually diving in the mid lane. An ally has been slain. <laughs> that sucks for Ra. Ra's kind of just sitting there minding his own business, and then a Hell comes in. We need to take this tower down. We need to take the tower down. Looks like Sobek's coming over here. Enemies incoming left. Retreat left Attack. Lane. Attack. Group up. Cold Fury's still up. Kind of hoping to one wander into someone. We need to start grouping. We can't let Hell just destroy us so hard. Uh, Freya has an ultimate up, so she might just finish this off with an ulti. Uh, plus the on her ulti. They're going to dive this pretty hard. They're not going to pay attention behind them. Yep, there it goes. Survive! I don't have my sprint up. Wow, that's really long. I'm supposed to be putting points into it. I need to cut this it's pretty tight here. Come on, fucker! Yes! You had to turn around to look, didn't you? You had to look. That was a silly mistake. Should have kept on running there, buddy. Shouldn't have turned around. Oh, God. Oh, God. This hell. So much farm. So much farm. Could I get that would help me? Stone of Gaia, probably. You're not getting this green, bro. Your team has destroyed a right enemy tower. Oh, what you're thinking? Oh God! She's level 18. Holy <laughs> Jesus! Oh God, no! You have been I think I have to go Stone of or Magic. Yeah, Stone of Gaia. I could go Magic's Blessing, but um. I, I, there's no guarantee I'll be able to absorb one of her shots. Um, I'll be hitting, getting hit too much, standing in the in the lane. So um, I'm just gonna go for this. I have the amulet. I could have amulet. I just didn't expect her to come out of nowhere. The sad part about a fed hell is she's really, really hard to kill and puts out a lot of constant damage. Um, so the thing you need to do is you need to CC her a lot so she can't constantly stand stance and attack you. Um, but it's just very, very difficult to deal with. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, she's not that great unless she gets really far ahead as far as damage goes. She's a great support, um, but as far as damage goes, she needs to get really far ahead to be um, a wrecking force, which she has gotten this game, which is kind of depressing. So I'm going for the Stone of Gaia just because uh, this is the threat here. Um, and it, that's pretty much it. I think I'm so far ahead with good damage, I can take on almost anyone except for hell. Looks like, uh, An enemy we got a Freya coming slain. this way. She can't shoot straight down, so I'm going to stand right underneath her. Ooh, 
Luckily she missed that. I don't need to use my uh, ability items here. They're taking on the hell. Oh god, no! Jesus. Green buff too. I'm out of here. She is way too strong. Good player though. Can't knock her. Or him. Mother of God. Mother of God. Oh, Jeebus. Good shot. Bad shot. If you're gonna kill Hell, you're gonna have to kill her like right out. Um, she has so much sustain. Good mana regeneration. She has the gem too. Oh my god. Should have gone mid. Kali's a very strong mid. I think I could have prevented this. This problem. She's probably gonna be heading back to the mid lane here. I don't wanna finish my stone. That's about all I can do. At this point, I need to finish going for damage, um, and then I just need to go at her face. This is just going to give me a little boost, um, and also some extra HP regeneration, which allow me to stick out the fights longer. That's about all I can do. She's so farmed, um, and unfortunately, she's one of those characters where when she's farmed, she's not easily soloable, because um, I'm just as farmed as she is. Well, le less, because of um, the fact that I was in a side lane, I was sharing gold, but um, in general, she's just very difficult to 1v1. She can't really solo her, because she has such so much sustain. Um, and constant damage. She's not really someone you can assassinate very easily. Unfortunately. Coming out here. Getting that down. Looks like they're going at it again. I might be able to just push. Um, if I can't deal with hell directly and my team's uh, losing team fights, I might be able to just push um, and go for a Minotaur attempt. My single target damage is really, really high, so I might be able to just uh, focus on the Minotaur as long as they don't back. Oh, so back. So back, you crazy bastard. Ra's doing the same thing, pushing up. It's a smart call. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. It's like they're pushing up pretty hard here. Don't you dare. It's already down. <laughs> of course they're going to follow hell. Wouldn't you? I would. Oh shit, this hell's good. Retreat right lane. Your left tower is under oh, that's that's God. God's here. Right. Retreat. Uh, I think she's just a goner. Um, what I can do is just go to a different lane. They're not still chasing you, are they? Your left tower can, you? Has been destroyed. can you go away? I think hell left. I hope hell left. There's no damage there, buddies. We're just going to go for some deeps. This is going to be rough. Real rough. She's 15 and 1. 15 and 1. She's done. I don't know why she got a Spear the Magus last. It's a really bad last item. It's a really, really amazing first item. It's amazing. It's so good in the early game. For a last item, it's not that great. It's meant for early game. Um, so, I don't know why she filled that last slot with that. She could have gone for a Polynomicon. Um, some defensive... Maybe some CDR, she could have gone for some uh, uh, a Chronos Pendant or something. Something that would just give her more oomph. I think a Polynomicon would be really good on her. But a Spear of the Magus? Nay. I say nay. Um, looks like they're going for Fire Giant. At this point, I can't, I mean, I can't even solo Hell, so I don't really want to do a team fight with Hell in it. That would be disastrous. An enemy has been slain. I don't know what that was. Is that a person? They're pushing the right lane and... Yeah. I wonder if they're coming back yet. It's 
a good question. We need to get some wards up. Definitely a lot of wards and just be able to take uh, advantages here. Looks like Hell's in the right lane. I'm safe. There's no one in this game besides Hell that can kill me. So I can push as long as I want regardless of how many are here. Um, probably more than two would be too much. But I can take on a good amount of people just because Hell's the only concern that I have. So if she's not around, I'm good. Um, and she was in the right lane. She may have retreated. There's Hell. Your team has destroyed a left Let's see if they're coming over. So on her and Odin. Odin's pretty fat. I can probably kill on her and leave. Oh, they have fire by fire giant buff. He's gonna miss his gunger's mind I'm too fast. I'm looking for an on her to try and flank me so I can just kill him. Whoa! Now that's a lion. What's he got? Oh wow, he's got Heart Seeker. That's why he probably hasn't died in a while. This may be risky if he tries to flank me, but I can see him with the minions. I doubt he's gonna want to chase though. Oh jeez. Um, yeah, I might just get a Heart Seeker and try and stack up. Um, as a last item, it's pretty shitty, um, but it's just a huge risk, and I think I'm going to have to go for it just because we're so... Be careful. Oh, we're in a bad spot. We're in a really bad spot. Hell's out of control. So much so that the on her I destroyed is just getting caught up pretty hard. Um, he's just roaming around with Hell and getting lots of free money. Lots of free money. And the Hell is just unkillable. I think if we try and group on her right now... No, she's just backed. I guess I'm just going to let her back like that. I doubt any of these buffs are up over here since Hell was here for such a long time, so I don't think any of these are up. Oh, hey, what do you know? There's nobody coming. If that damage buff is up, that'd be huge for me. This is risky because I should be with him, but, I mean... Ugh. I mean, my team right now is just... They need to stand in front of me and take damage for me. Because um, no one's really has an effective farm besides me. I'm head back and trying to defend left lane. <laughs> Everyone's tracking where hell is, so we know where we are allowed to be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go for Heartseeker. I think this is gonna be it. I mean, it's gonna come down to a big team fight or the ability to kill the Minotaur. So I just need to get this farmed up. Oh god, they're fighting hell. Your team has destroyed a right An ally has been slain. And they're slobbering up for that. I'm not going to go over and fiend for that. I can't even take Hell on by myself. I can barely even handle on her and Odin at the same time. So I think I just need to push. Push as much as I can. What I should have done, and since I know I was going to push, I should have just bought a whole bunch of wards. Um, and then covered my flank. That way I know when they're coming so I can just back. And just do the roundabout. Just run around a whole bunch. Try and get behind them. Try to get a Minotaur pick. Uh, looks like they're still mid. They're coming for me. On her might leap over. But he didn't. What I want to do is just get a whole bunch of wards, cover my flank, and farm up my heart seeker and try and pick someone off. That Hebo is pretty pickable. God, it's a lot. God's dead, guys. Charge. God's dead. You have slain an enemy. Attack. You have slain an enemy. An ally has been slain. Yes. Good hook. Good hook. Keep it going. Keep it going. It's my Hebo. Keep it going. How long is hell down for? 40 seconds, guys. Keep it going. Charge. Tank for me. 
This is not the time to be weak. I wonder if it's back up by now. So now I know I can take on Hell um, if she's low on mana and I catch her by surprise. Um, it can't be at a point where she can just keep spamming me, but... Attack, fire Come on, guys. Attack, fire this has to be quick. Mother of God, make it quick. Mother of God. He's going to banish right away. Or use that. They got it. Are you fucking? Retreat! 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 Why are you? St Retreat, God. Run away! Get! Get! Go! Mother of God! Retreat! So fast! I clicked that. How, well, how it's how much I want him to get back. God, we gave him a free fire giant. That's depressing. That's depressing. I should have gone out and zoned, but that was a good ultimate from Freya. She was paying good attention there. Oh, this isn't good. Good picks, good picks, good picks. Lots of good picks there. Get that hell. She's really low. There's the Odin. Good picks, guys. Get this motherfucker. Freya's behind us, which scares me because I'm really low. Guys, come on! Ebo! Fight! Nice try. You're gonna get raped by the Minotaur, man. I got a little TV there. Artemis is split pushing. Hell's down for 25 seconds. We kind of need to attack a Minotaur, not not split push. We have a limited amount of time before Hell comes back up. Mother of God. Kill it. Motherfucking kill it. Retreat. Retreat middle lane. Retreat. Alright, so that's not so bad. I think we're in a good spot here and we're probably going to take this game. I don't see us losing this unless we lose a huge team fight and they get a big push in. Um, but luckily what happened there is they used a lot to try and take me out and I ended up escaping. And luckily for me, my team responded in just enough time um, to jump on them as they were scrambling to kill me, which kind of put them in a really bad spot. Um, they really shouldn't have been... Um, well, actually, it was, it was smart. They, didn't, they just didn't have the awareness to realize that my team was right there. Um, so they missed out on a lot there, um, and that was a huge team fight for us and allowed us to push up mid and take that Phoenix. Um, so now we're in a really good spot here. As you can see, we're actually up in gold, um, and we actually have, I don't know, we have about the same amount of carries as they do. Um, Artemis just needs to get caught up. Uh, none of these items really, I don't, I don't know what to say. Oh, God. He's got the gold fury. Um, their fire giant's gonna be wearing off soon. Retreat. What we need to be doing is throwing up wards. I'm gonna stand in this just for a bit. He might try and ulti this. The hope is that he ultis hell outside of it. If he can do that, then we're good. Hell's outside of it. Freya might be able to ulti in, but that's about it. Uh, 
Kinda need to group up here. I'm gonna flank around. Ah, oh, hell knows. <sighs> Dodge the Gunger's might. I may be able to just go kill Hebo. But my team's fighting. God, she's so good at that. Keeps him alive for so long. They don't even have Hebo either. We can't we can't beat them in this heads up fight. They're just too strong. Too far too strong. They're also fatty too. They all have so much HP. So what I can do is I can go kill this Hebo um, and cover my flank as I go. Just put these wards up as I'm heading over. Um, that way I'll be able to Hell? Is she following me? Yeah, she is. This is gonna be a tight one. That's about all I could do. They're showing up now. Missed a bunch of Retreat. shots in the beginning. I was hitting a minion, so. Retreat. Be right back. Let's get these stacks up in my Heart Seeker. It's not the best ward spots, but they're ward spots, so. All I need is just an early warning that I'm about to get raped. And then I'll be able to cover that, and then I think we'll be able to pull this out. All these buffs would also be really good for me. Would also be really good for me. An ally has been slain. Guys, don't. Don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I'm going to go for the Minotaur. I can't fight them. The least I can do is get him to pull off. My team's just getting rocked. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Get off me, Minotaur. Come on, stay mid. Stay mid, kiddos. God damn it. Well, they traded a Phoenix for a tower um, and killed my team, so it's not the biggest of deals. Um, just gonna keep getting my stacks up. If I can get my Heart Seeker fully stacked with a full set of items, I think I'll be able to take them on um, in good numbers. Let's see if I can't kill this real quick. Like, oh, it's already down. Blue buff would be really beneficial right now. If it's up. There's that. Go mid, get those stacks, get a prop buff, head over, get the movement speed buff, and just keep farming. Um, I have enough to get the elixir, so that'll be really good. Yeah, I'll get an elixir. And then a bunch of wards. That's about it. Got 46 stacks on my... The AD needs Brawler's beat stick. What would be a good choice against Hell? Be a very good choice against Hell, but... God, I have so much HP. And we have no damage. He's gonna ult. He's gonna get the Hebo. Hebo's gonna die for sure. So what I'm gonna do is... I don't think we're gonna win this fight. Unless we can get this Hell from behind. Sobek, turn around. Sobek, turn around. Sobek, turn around. Fighter! An ally has been slain. Attack. Attack Hell! No, oh, fuck it. We can't win this. Ain't no way we can win that. Left lane's pushing up. Hebo's gonna defend it. I can kill Hebo by myself, and as long as they take a long time pushing that left lane, or pushing the mid lane down, if we defend it and just kind of drag it out, um, I'll be in good shape here. This guy needs to die if I'm gonna take this. They're most likely coming up now. Looks like they gave up on just getting the Phoenix. Uh, which means they're probably going to be flanking me. Oh, 
probably going to be flanking me here. Gold Fury's back up. I think the Fire Giant should be up soon, if it's not already. What we can do is just bait out the Fire Giant and just try and take that. Um, if we can take that away from them, we'll be in good shape. Come on, you piece of shit. They already have Fire Giant. Artemis, go! What are you fighting? Jesus, mother of freaking God! Tries to steal with her ultimate. That's a good pick there. It's a waste of the ultimate. Hell's here. She's gonna get the slow off, but I'm gonna cut these corners pretty tight. Holy mother of Jeebus! Jesus Christ, I'm running right into an on her. And a Freya. Oh, Jesus. Hell does not want to give up on this. If I can bait her out, she's just going to come in. This is really bad. There's the ultimate from on her. Come on, let's fight! Good. Fight him! Just fight! Why are we not fighting? Holy Jesus! Oh Jesus! Didn't even get a chance to use my elixir. What? Ugh. This is a rough game, guys. Um, a lot of mistakes that I made. Um, I died a little bit too many times. I probably shouldn't have got picked off there. My positioning was really poor. What I wanted to do is I wanted to pick Frey off because she was by herself for a short while. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick that up. And they're going to get this kill. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate all your views and your subscriptions. And I really look forward to seeing you in my next video.